In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can increase the resources in your virtual machine in VMware Workstation. Hello, my name is Tal Hali and welcome back to my channel. So here you can see I already have a virtual machine, uh, what I created in my previous videos, my first uh, test machine. So I have a hard disk of 40 GB, processors are two with the four cores and the memory is 4 GB. So I want to uh, like modify the resources, let's say the RAM I'm gonna say it's uh, like too much for Ubuntu server so I'm gonna uh, decrease this one so all you need to do is to change from here this is the first method or you can type here uh, the uh, memory in MBs so as it's going to be 1 gig so I want 2 so it's gonna be 2048 and as I click uh, here you can see it's all already on uh, the array is showing 2gb here as well and another thing what i wanted to show you this thing it's showing uh, that's the available memory in this computer so i have 16 gb of ram in my computer so this one uh, this amount of ram is free so i can use maximum of this i cannot go beyond this one okay so that's how we change the memory and the next thing is processor you can change the processors um, by changing this so for Linux I'm gonna say I'm going to use one uh, with the four core and uh, the next thing is the hard drive the I would say the main resource for a virtual machine so we have two options here and I will explain both in this video so the first option is to add another hard drive by just clicking add and uh, it's gonna show another vi uh, another window and you need to click on hard disk and make sure you choose the same one so this one is SCSI so you are going to use this one and there is a mode as well if you understand uh, hard, hard drive uh, like completely you understood uh, you can understand what is a snapshot and what is independent non-persistent or persistent but i'm not uh, telling you that in this video but if you guys want to know you can just comment me i can create another video related to hard drives so you click next and then whatever you want to do if you uh, as i told you in my previous videos if you guys are watching uh, my videos continuously uh, i explained everything related to this one but again if you have any vhdx file available you can choose that one or you can create a new one but as we are going to expand our uh, drive size so we are going to create another one so the, it, it always shows the recommended size for ubuntu is 20 gbs and uh, but for this one i want to like make it 100 gb so i'm gonna uh, type 60 gb here you can see the unit is gb and uh, split virtual disk into multiple files yes and i'm gonna click next and it's going to show me this so the first one was my first test machine and as i created the next one it's showing me zero so as i click finish it's gonna be uh, another drive added to this uh, machine but that's going to be a secondary drive so let's go to the method two so as i click finish it's gonna be showing under um, this machine okay so you can see now we have two hard drives what one is 40 gb and the second one is 60 gb but the second method what i was talking about let's do that so in case i don't want to add an extra hard drive to this virtual machine so what i do i click on that hard drive i see the available size so system free is 1.3 terabyte and maximum is 40 gb what is assigned to this one already and current size it's because it's uh, there is nothing on this machine i just created the machine there is no operating system so that's why it's just 5.1 uh, file size so we have a uh, option here to expand the drive so i just need to click on that and i can choose from 40 to 100 and just click on expand so it's gonna start expanding 
as I click OK. So now you can see I have 100 GB and 60 GB here. But as uh, you can see now it's using 160 GB but I want 100 GB and I, if I uh, just simply remove this one that's not gonna be removed from uh, the files so if I remove from here that's gone but in the drive it's going to be available so let me show you that. So these are all the virtual machines I have in uh, under this VMware. So this is the one we created my first test machine. So here you can see it's uh, like having a lot of files, but don't get confused on that one. So as I was creating the new disk, it was showing me the name my first test machine dash zero. So all under uh, dash zero, I'm going to delete all those files. So the actual one is my first test machine S001. So I'm going to delete these files and now it's not going to use any space in my computer. And uh, one thing I wanted to show you as well, as you can see all the files are created but you can see the size, it's 512. But as I keep adding files into that virtual machine, the size will keep increasing in that as well. And the last thing in case you don't see any CD drive or anything what you want to use in your virtual machine you can simply click on add and find whatever you want to add to this virtual machine. Uh, let's say in case you need a parallel or a serial port uh, to use in your virtual machine that can be some kind of scenario but in case if you want to use that you can add those as well and network adapter as well and uh, as i was telling you if you don't see any cd dvd drive you can add from here just click next and you can use the iso image or the physical drive the physical drive mean the actual dvd or cd rom of your computer so all you need to just click next finish auto detect yes or you can select the drive in my computer it's the d drive so it's showing me the drive letter as well and this is connect add power on that's a device status so all you need to just click on finish and the cd dvd rom would be added thank you so much for watching the video i'll see you in the next video Bye.